Okay. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? My man, how's it going? Going good, going good. So, good yeah. To you and good to hear from you. Yeah, no, definitely. So, <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, it's as I said, it's been it's been a while and and, and since we yeah. interviewed, it seems like quite a bit have happened with the guys. What's up with Troop these days? Oh, man. Um, Troop has... Uh, well, right now, we're like on a promo tour of a lot of radio stations right now because we just released a new single, um, Lady of My Life, uh, a tribute to, you know, our boy, our mentor, Michael Jackson. So You, you remade it or you, you made a version similar to it? Yeah, yeah. So did you do the remake of the original one or did you just, did you? Did you... Yeah, the, the uh-huh. remake of the original, yeah, the re- remake of the original Michael Jackson's uh, from Thriller, Lady of My Life, okay. with the twist on the end, a little bit of funny how time flies when you're having fun, a little bit of that on the end of by Janet. Whoa. It's really cool. It's really cool. That's my all-time favorite song. That song is my all-time favorite song about any song. So, you know, I'm very particular about it. So well, when did it come out? Yeah. So I need to listen to it. it. It actually came out February 15th. Oh, I didn't realize. Um, Yeah, it, it just dropped. So, um... But I'm um, I'm having my people to go ahead to uh get ready to email you the record so you can check it out. You know. Yeah. Is it is it available um, on streaming services? So because I'm sure we definitely I, want to get. You know people. what I, I I believe so. I believe it's out now. I do believe it's out now. Troop Lady in My Life. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If it comes across, I'll see it and I can start to push it and promote it. Are you Are you guys going to do yeah, a great, video great, to great. it or anything? Well, we're, yeah, we're, we're we're talking about it right now. So right now we're just trying to just you know do a lot of the interviews on a, a lot of the radio stations here across the country, right here out in the U.S., doing a bunch of in, um, interviews, talking about it. Wow. You know, I mean, did, what is the, um, the plan when it comes to actually being on back on stage and, and, and touring? Well, I, I would fir- well, we actually been doing a lot of dates lately now. Uh, we just finished doing Date in Ohio, which was a, it was a killer show. With John B and Drew Hill, it was a great show. Uh, we're getting ready to do another show with Boys to Men, and um, uh, oh, so, yes. for so for real, so for real, yeah. Then we have to, we have some other things that are coming up. Uh, of you know some more performances. We have to go back to Club Yoshi's, okay. uh, in, in uh, San Francisco. We have to go back over to uh, we, we're doing a Black Expo again this year, uh, September twenty fifth. Um, so yeah, we're just, you know, just getting in those days and we're calling it the back to life tour. Okay. What do you mean by back to life? Just, you know, back on stage and back in front of our fans and just, you know, uh, being personal with them and hanging out and, you know, and just back to life, you know, after during the, after during the pandemic, did you, what was the plan? Did you, did, did you guys just sort of, I won't say separate, but did you guys just go and do your individual things? Well, we were we were just like kind of like basically like a hitting miss type of situation because some of us had solo dates and then some of us and then we still had group dates. So we just kind of like work the dates around within each other and not like really step on each other's toes. And when it was time to work on troop, we worked on troop. And when it's time to just go ahead, and do some solo stuff, then we did the solo stuff. So uh, we're, we're kind of like mixing them both in within just work per se but just you know doing the job and getting the job done and when people call and secure a date for us to do a show that you know we'll go ahead and check out each other's dates and see what we're doing and we'll go ahead and take the date and go do the show and keep it moving so i mean when you guys think of um so i interviewed um i don't know if you remember him doa alan Derek. yeah that's our boy <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's our boy. He when I asked him because he'd done River Nation, he's toured with Bobby, Lionel Richie, yeah. everyone. And I and I said, so what was your favorite tour? And he said, without doubt, was the first tour with Troop. Mm-hmm. Was his best tour ever. Wow. It was and, a lot of fun. Yeah, that's the that was the Troop and Keith Sweat tour. And sometimes along with DJ Rob Bass and Salt and Pepper, and uh, we took that tour and we were 
a good three to five months. On the and, bus, sometimes the bus will break down and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had some bus problems a little bit, but we, you know, every we still got to our gigs and stuff that we had to do together. And um, we had we had a lot of good time. Um, the way uh, it's funny, the way that Derek used to say my name, he used to say, John, John. That's how he used to call my name. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a lot of fun out there on the tour. A lot of fun. Yeah, but he yeah. says the one thing that he, he said was that you guys were the hardest working um, entertainers that he had seen. So he's seen everyone from, and he, but he says that he just said you guys just put in the work and it was just, you know, and I think he said he got paid the least amount from anything, but it was not about the money. It was just about the experience watching you guys work, the reaction with the crowd yeah. and seeing the energy and, and the, the work ethic that you guys put in there. Do you remember how what was driving you guys in those early days to really sort of put in that, that sort of effort and, and the work ethic? I, I think um, just pretty much on, on what it is now, just letting the people know that we're here. We still want to be here and, and to, you know, and just to perform in front of, you know, whenever that we can you know, perform in front of the people, um, whenever that these promoters will go ahead and call on us. Um, we just want to let people know that we're here too. And, and we love the stage and we love our fans and um, we love the music, you know, so this is what we do, you know, so we just want to let people know that, you know, that we're here also too, and we're going to, you know, be the best that we can be and do the best that we can do and, and just keep it moving. You know, the thing is that um, so today, which is Thursday, New Edition is starting their Legacy Tour. Yeah. And back in the, the those days, I mean, you guys were, I won't, I don't, were you guys ever considered rivals or what was, or, or were you more Force MD or what was the situation back in the day? I'm just trying to go back a, a bit during, your, you know, when Mama Sita and, and Spread Your Wings and all that was coming out. What was the, with New Edition, did were you guys seen as rivals or, or friendly competitors, or how was it back then? I, I would say, uh, even still to the day, to this day, friendly competitors. I mean, we still consider ourselves to be brothers of one another. Um, we've always looked up to New Edition. New Edition has always been our, you know, our favorite group. So, wow. um, it's just that we've never got a chance to be able to work together like on stage, like we've done shows with BBD. We've done mm. a few shows with BBD. Um, and that was really basically it. But we've never got a chance to like really do shows with New Edition. Everybody else has except for Troop. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat. Sweet.